Hello and welcome, come on in. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the quick version of the growth of this barn and the build of this, but if you want more long in-depth build videos, stay tuned because I'm gonna be coming out with another channel that has more of my builds and stuff that don't really relate to aquariums since a lot of you guys like aquarium stuff. I'm trying to keep this channel related to just that because I know you guys don't wanna hear about a screw or a staple. Some of you guys don't, you know. So stay tuned, that's gonna be in the works down the line and now to the video also don't worry this channel will always take priority but here's the barn when we arrived what it looked like on each side that's the back door front door now time to evolve it five hours of footage in the five minutes got a long day ahead of us one of the most important things is a command center shelving somewhere to work somewhere to put your stuff in do things one thing often overlooked in fish rooms and very much needed so try to leave some space if you're building clear it all out all right now it's time to tear these down prize a treat for me that down All right, all in, now time to build. I needed a spot for shade, the sun was eating me up. Ready to rope it. Slowly getting cleaned up. So I'll get this cut up in blocks, set this all up. And you're with limited space. You're already taking way too much time. Now time to do the top, and I just wanted to share that. And here's a quick look around the barn. All right, got those up. Stoked this framing part's done. We can lay that main joist over. Nowhere local to get those right now. Boom, boom, notch it out. Go ahead and mark this. It's a two by four for my notes because when you're cool place to hang out, I like it. That up there. Right, got the outlets over and rewired. Insulation just are getting close. Quick, how I take care of those crooked walls. I went through, sanded this down. Glass back sheet vinyl adhesive. Here you can see I added dividers in between. And thank you all that support me for making this happen too, because without you guys, I couldn't be doing this. So all you members on the channel, super chatters, you guys just watching the ads, all that stuff, sharing our videos with all that. You guys have made it possible for me to scrounge up some money to get some carpet up here first. That way I don't have to reorganize twice. Because since this is only three foot tall, it's really rough on the knees. So it'll help having some carpet and padding up there if I have to get up and down often. So saying that, thank you guys. And let's jump into the carpet. The underlayment is in. Yeah, time to clean it up because it is messy. Luckily, I had some trim that was here from the house. Tons of it. All that down there. Can't wait to get these tanks running. Let the organizing begin. A little aftermath cleanup. Got that cleared up. Almost there on the racks. That's all cleaned up. Starting to work on this. Pulling out these nails out of these boards is a job within itself, but I hate to just throw that away because probably use it down the road somewhere. All right, now that that's getting done, making room from where these racks were. That is going to go over there. So still got to move all this stuff around. At least it's finer in a new home out of here but what i do when i go to move racks like this that i already have established colony like this has shrimp in it this has some baby fish in it 
Doesn't really, and then many have other things, mostly shrimp and not a whole lot of big fish. Big fish, of course, you might want to get out. But I'm gonna keep the water level to about right here, which all these guys should be fine with. And whenever I reset it, I'm gonna add water slowly. That way I don't just shock the fish. That way I don't shock the system. But first thing to do, get rid of lights, get rid of electrics, and pull the water out, and we can move everything. And one of my favorite ways to discharge the water here from the aquariums is with one of these big buckets. I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like a fake barrel. Usually find them in a garden section of a hardware store. And then a pump, I like a good decent one. This is 2,700 gallons per hour. More gallons per hour means more you can pump out. Long cord is always great for a system like this. A nice, rigid, sturdy drain hose. And some wheels. Eventually I'll custom something cleaner, but this is just what I had. And of course you gotta have something to siphon it. I'll do this real quick. And if you saw how fast I got that light off, it's because I used these kind of like little hoop loop gear system where I could just pull it on and off. If I ever got to replace it, super easy. And this is all this is, is this is that plastic strap that you would get in a plumbing area for drains. And what's super useful for these is a remote control outlet as well. Or you get a fancy Wi-Fi one. I like the manuals. All right, now that they're empty, I can go ahead and move them. Good to have paper towel over your plants, that way you can keep them wet. Air doesn't dry them out. And then whenever I go to pick these up, I make sure I'm nice and braced on these corner and edges when I'm carrying it. I don't just hang it from the middle or anything. Make sure you get these ends. Make sure you get the ends supported with your arms. And get somebody to help you if you need to. And also work your way top down because you don't want to end up top heavy. Bang, and boom. All right, space is cleared, rack is moved. Time to start on the new racks. So I've got this to work with. So I've got 42 by four by tens. And then we've got, I believe 72 by four by eights. So these are gonna be the legs. Yes, 10 foot legs. Which is gonna be about yay tall. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button. That'd be much appreciated. Plus, we're gonna have all kinds of cool stuff coming up. We're gonna jump into some rack build. I'm gonna catch you guys up. Plus, you never know what's gonna happen. I've been taking footage of all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned for that. And thank you all so much for your support. Until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one, and I'll see you on the next one.